again, share something about yourself. Even if it's just how you feel on that day, be vulnerable, share. I feel like that's the greatest thing you can do to a person or the greatest thing you can give to a person in a conversation, which is genuine, raw honesty, because we're all looking to be connected. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Fearless Fridays. This is our fourth week. This should also be your fourth week of doing the two stops a day for 90 days straight, which should probably put you at about 28 days is the uh, time frame that you guys should be hitting right now at this point in your two stops a day. So let's talk about that. Your two stops a day assignment to get you to be consistent with stopping two people a day so that you can start to learn how to relax your nervous system in front of people and it'll make approaching a whole lot easier. Sure, right now we're worried about stopping people, strangers, guys, and women, not just solely women, but what it will do for you is it will make approaching women a lot easier as you go forward. So let's talk about that a little bit. Your two highs a day. How's that been going for you? Are you noticing any changes within yourself? Are you noticing like maybe just the stops altogether are becoming really easy? It feels like you just bump it into a person and say, oh, hey, how's it going, man? Right. And you just start chatting with them. If not, there's probably a little bit more cleanup work to do uh, on the subconscious side of things, which is totally fine. We all got a little bit of work to do. But uh, if you are noticing that it's getting a little bit easier, even incrementally, 1% at a the time, then congratulate yourself. I think that's awesome. So let's keep moving in that direction. OK, so let's talk about the two approaches a day and where we're going to take it in this video. Uh, being the fourth week and the final week of this particular uh, series. So what I want you guys to do is I want you guys in this week, in your two approaches a day to learn how to express yourselves by sharing more about yourself to people, right? But also not just sharing about yourself, but vocalizing what you're actually feeling, your emotion, right? Expression, emotion in your stops. So think about it like this. If you're going to go out and do two stops a day, like last week, we started off with 30 second conversations. This is the natural progression of that for me. 30 second conversations. And now it's like, cool, what's going on in those conversations? What can we actually do in those conversations to make these talks a lot more connected and draw people in full of enjoyment, right? Well, that would be really sharing what you're feeling emotionally, right? If you can share with a person what you're feeling emotionally or even just share about yourself, that can already be a vulnerable and emotional thing. You start to notice that people get drawn into that because you give them a real person and people are always looking to connect with what's real. We have a tendency to put up fake personas, masks, hide behind pride, hide behind heavier emotions, mask off our emotions so that people can't truly feel us and get a sense of who we are. I mean, it's not the reason we do it, but we do that because we want to protect ourselves. It's guard, right? So in your stops, if you're doing two a day, I want you to start to get comfortable with yes, having those 30 second conversations, but also share more about you and who you are. Um, so let's take into context what that might actually look like in a conversation. Okay. So 30 second conversation. Cool. Last week we did. Cool. Do you know where a good burger place is around here? Oh, okay. Oh, you don't? Where are you guys from? Okay, cool. You guys are from where? Michigan? Oh, awesome. Nice. How do you guys like it down here in uh, Los Angeles? I know you guys are going to be enjoying the weather down here, right? And then they're like, yeah, yeah, it's so great down here. You might be like, cool, man. You know what? I've never been to Michigan before, but I always heard good things about it. Um, or I've been meaning to go to Michigan. I want to go there someday. It can be something as little as that, right? That just gives a little bit more value. And it's an exchange. It's a back and forth. The person feels like they're incrementally learning about you a little bit. And they start to like you a lot more. And so as the 30 second conversation goes on, sure, it might go more than 30 seconds. Ideally, it might turn to a minute or two, but you would have had that. You would have had such a quick connection with this person in a short period of time that they'll actually remember you because you were giving that good energy you're sharing. Whereas, say, for instance, you're first starting to do the 30 second conversations, a lot of it's like, what do I say? How do I keep this conversation going? So you're very much in your head and you're very much more worried about yourself than you are the person that you're talking to. Right. And I've uh, been worried about yourself in a way. It's like, how am I going to get this done? How am I going to accomplish this goal versus relaxing and actually having a back and forth with the person more genuine? When you guys really get used to having that back and forth with people genuinely, how does this tie into women and dating? Well, that's the vulnerability piece, right? That's the part that actually draws women into you and makes them more curious about you. When I approach girls, sure, the first maybe 10 seconds of it, 15 seconds of it is like, hey, I'm here to meet you. But then somewhere in that, maybe after the first minute or so, 30 seconds or something like that, it's like I'm sharing a little bit about who I am and she, you can see her kind of relaxing and getting drawn in a little bit more because then she can relax. She's like, cool. I know who this guy is a little bit. He's a, he's a, seems like a cool guy, wholesome guy, not a crazy ass dude. I don't know why like salesman trying to stop me. It's more like this is a cool dude uh, sharing a little bit more about himself. The relatability factor, right? Because they can relate to you being more real. So I want you guys to do this in your 30 second conversations. You start to notice as you start doing this, your 30 second conversations will easily start going minute plus again. 
share something about yourself. Even if it's just how you feel on that day, be vulnerable, share. I feel like that's the greatest thing you can do to a person or the greatest thing you can give to a person in a conversation, which is genuine, raw honesty because we're all looking to be connected okay second part we're going to talk about expression again so last week i had you guys talking to people and giving highs but also doing it from your gut right your enjoyment your excitement but also your grounding too because it's all interconnected so this week as we're going forward and we're doing the exercises i want you guys to really start to lock in and focus on your throat right your throat because i feel like this your ability to speak loudly, your ability to speak with confidence and certainty comes from the throat. A lot of us are bound up in the throat, right? And a lot of us are used to being small, playing small, because so we don't, so we're not heard, so we're not causing a ruckus, so we're not being seen, we're not drawing any attention to ourselves. Well, ironically, how that works is we don't draw any attention to ourselves and we end up getting treated the way we want people to treat us, which doesn't, doesn't serve us in the long run because. You know, you look back and it's like, oh, I don't have any friends. Or you don't have anybody who wants to hang out with you. It's because you've dimmed your light bulb so low that people can't see you and you're out. You're also very hiding on the subconscious level and people pick up on that, you know, and they'll treat you just like that or they won't even notice you. So a lot of being seen is actually being heard. And a lot of us are not allowing ourselves to be heard because what, for whatever our reason, we might feel like we don't have enough to say. We don't have anything important to be said, anything important to say. We don't feel like if we say something, we might get critiqued. Uh, that's a huge one I had. Uh, I was scared of being critiqued, so I didn't like to be very vocal and loud because I felt like somebody was going to come at me and try to correct me and tell me I was wrong for what I said. So we have all these reasons why we don't want to do it. So now it's about learning how to do it. So just like we did last Friday, you're f learning how to open up your gut and feel your gut, right? The same opening process of the heart that Brian was talking about in his previous videos. Same thing with the throat. Practice on opening your throat. Notice how tight and bound up it is. A lot of guys are just really bound up in the throat. And what it's really doing is it's cutting off the circulation of energy. It's cutting off the flow of energy. So your words are not reaching people. And you notice that in relation to women, especially women love guys who have deep voices. And the only real thing that's stopping you from having a deep voice is the binding up in the throat, not relaxing. You start to relax your throat. You start to relax your heart, your stomach, your lower gut. And you start to realize your voice gets a lot deeper right that's a lot more bass in it so i want you guys to practice expressing from your throat speak about the throat chakra and how that's really speaking your truth i want you guys to go out in your highs and really focus on filling your throat filling your voice feeling how it comes out how loudly it comes out or how meek and quiet it comes out and makes the make the adjustments on the fly um, because you want people to hear you you want people to be affected by you and that's a really great way to do it so again as in the last video keep a distance between you and the person because this will give you perfect range to practice projecting your voice actually i would even give you the challenge of doing this maybe even giving yourself double the space between you and the person and then projecting your voice from there so that you can really hit it from a distance uh those are really fun like i'll do it when let's say we're probably five or ten feet away you know so that way they can really kind of they can really get a chance to uh feel the impact of me saying hi to them from a distance it sure might come off a little bit weird at first but it's actually pretty fun to see the kind of power that you have and how you affect people when you actually project your voice in that way. So again, guys, two approaches a day, 30 second conversations, sharing about yourself, right? Sharing vulner something vulnerable, just having a back and forth with the person that you're talking to, not letting them talk solely and not just learning about them, but also sharing something about yourself so that there's actually a reciprocation of energy going on. That will serve you really well when it comes to moving on to talking to girls that you want to talk to, approaching beautiful women, that will make it so much easier to have that transference of energy. Second, doing the highs, right? Again, 20 to 100 highs a day. Find in there where you can actually do it, right? Find something that you can actually work with. Uh, if you're noticing that you guys are having a lot of fun at 50, then try about 50 more, okay? But in that, I want you to focus on your throat. Focus on projecting your voice from your throat, right? Noticing if there's any tightness in it. Are you bound up and wound up? And then starting to relax and release that and just feel the energy flowing through your throat as you speak. Now, what you might notice from doing that is that you might start to notice that you have a lot more energy running down your chest, through your heart, through your stomach, through your pelvis, because you have all that opened up now. And now as you speak, there's energy running through your body as you speak. There's a flow of energy. It's coming out this way, but it's also going out that way and it's affecting people. Okay. So remember, whatever you're feeling in your body, people are probably feeling it from you. There's a great chance they are. So with that said, put in the comments below what you guys need the most and if this stuff is working for you, but also put your wins in there. What are you noticing about yourself? Are you noticing that your highs are getting better, extremely easier? 
or your style's getting extremely easy or almost second nature put that stuff in the, in the comments below so that we know it's working for you guys okay we want you guys to uh beast out and become the best guys that you can be socially and this is the way to do it this is the way i've done it and this is the way it's really excelled me and i want you guys to benefit from that as well so hit the like and the subscribe button and remember only the confident really love Thank you.